Now, even when all else fails, these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. Ah, but the greatest of these is love. These words serve as a reminder that one of the reasons we are so drawn to love, so far as to join together in this ordeal of marriage, is because it's difficult to, re to recognize our wholeness when we are apart. Not that it's impossible, but it's difficult when we're apart. And as a part, as a fragment of what we can be, we recognize that to become whole, we must be sincerely seen by another as two mirrors looking at each other, reflecting eternity. There's a parable about men who are given talents. Some were given many, some were given few. But the summation of it was, what did you do with it? Who were you? Were the one that squandered those talents or were you the one that used them? And I know who you are. You are a 10 talent person who's used them all and multiplied everything you do. I'm very impressed. I mean, who else saves a life, flies a plane, starts a business, helps a friend, loves a woman, builds a table, pets a dog, all in one day? Right? It may have taken Kara a tad longer to realize this, even though it was obvious to everyone in the room, but we finally made it here. Kara, I love you. I can't wait to see you as this wife that you've become today, and eventually a mom. Simply put, you are wonderful. And I remember Jason talking to me about you a couple years ago, and he was just so serious about like what was going on with you. And he was just so, like it was just clear that something was happening, something was clicking, something was changing. You know, he was becoming a man in a, in a whole new way. <laughs> When we find that sacred spark in someone who makes us come alive, like Jason has found in Kara, and like Kara has found in Jason, it is then that we see our wholeness. It is then that we see our holiness. And it is then that we find our completeness. <laughs> <laughs>